All right. Well, welcome again. And um, we we just saw this amazing movie, and and congratulations, Ejivan and Puer on the story that you're telling. And and I th I think it's helping galvanize support. I've seen evidence of that when I've been having conversations about it with uh, governments, donors, company. It's it's clearly resonating. I'm, I'm, it's it kind of wildly exceeded my expectations. So congratulations to you and the other filmmakers. Um. I wanted to say um, that we've got a great group here, and let me just briefly introduce them. Uh, so, Pure Tembe, as you you saw her story, but just to say a little more, she's the Secretary of the Indigenous Peoples for the State of Pará. Um, she's a member of the Executive Branch of the Union of Indigenous Women of the Brazilian Amazon and the co-founder of ANMIGA, which is the National Association of Indigenous Women Warriors. Um, and you saw her work. Ejivan Guadalajara, he's an indigenous filmmaker and activist, um, which is, I think, you know, something that's spreading. And it's wonderful to see that indigenous people are telling their own story. And I think this film is a great, is a powerful example of that. Finally, uh, Andre Vasconcelos, he's the global engagement lead at Trace, Global Canopy Supply Chain Mapping Initiative in partnership with the Stockholm Environment Institute. And he has lots of experience. He has a, a degree in ecology from Universidad de Estadual Paulista, um, and also a degree from the University of Oxford. So let's let's dive in. Um, uh, Weir, let me let me ask you first. Um, we're we're here at this big climate summit. Uh, I think since Glasgow, we've seen nature at the top of the agenda. Uh, that's really welcome. One of the things that happened here is that uh, Marina Silva. Marina Silva proposed the creation of a $250 billion forest fund for conservation. We talk, the movie talked about the need to invest. Could you talk about how uh, indigenous people are more and more leading the charge for conservation? Boa noite, boa noite a todos e a todas. É, obrigada pelo tempo de vocês dentro de um universo que tem aqui da COP, todo mundo é muito ocupado, todo mundo tem várias agendas. E é difícil às vezes a gente conseguir ficar uma hora de tempo. Né, para acompanhar, mas agradecemos muito, do fundo do coração, cada um que está sentado aqui. Então, assistindo o nosso trabalho, é um trabalho que, que a gente faz todos os dias, que a gente faz historicamente, o que a gente faz, a gente também faz para vocês, para proteger para vocês. What we do, we also do for you, to protect for you. Então, esse é o nosso desafio, o desafio de, de assegurar a questão ambiental. This is our challenge. O, desaf... the environmental question. o desafio para que a gente possa amenizar esses impactos ambientais. Challenge to minimize the environmental impact. E às vezes pagamos com as nossas próprias vidas Sometimes we pay with our own lives. Mas a gente segue lutando porque se faz necessário. Keep on fighting because it is necessary. Uh, that's that's great. Um, one, Edjivan, uh, it's been such a privilege to get to know you uh, as you've been working on this film. We we're, we're so happy to host you at our house in Washington D.C. as uh, we together brought. The message of the film to the government, um, to the media, to a broader audience. I'm, I'm curious if you could reflect personally on what you have learned as in the in this film and what your hopes are uh, for indigenous people to get involved in campaigns and filmmaking. Então, sou Edivan Guajajara, sou indígena do povo Guajajara do Estado do Maranhão. Guajajara, indigenous from the uh, Guajajara people in Maranhão. 
Ah, ok, ok. É, então, eu vim do território Arariboia. I come from the Arariboia territory. É um território que, que tem os povos indígenas Guarajara e também existe o, os povos isolados que não tem contato. The territory that has the Guajajara people and also some isolated people who have not been contacted. E eu como indígena filmmaker, fotógrafo, As an indigenous filmmaker and photographer. É, eu poderia, né, de, de ter essa oportunidade de contar a nossa própria história. I could not miss the opportunity to tell our own story. Então, é uma luta que nós fazemos, como a Pui menciona, é uma luta diária dos povos indígenas para fazer a defesa do território. As Pui said, this is a daily struggle to protect the territory. E essa defesa que muitas vezes custa a vida dos povos indígenas por fazer uma defesa que é para todo mundo. This defense that sometimes costs indigenous lives and doing a defense that it's for everyone. E esse documentário Somos Guardiões não é apenas só mais um filme que que vem para assistir. É, é algo mais além do que isso. And the documentary We Are Guardians is just not it's not just a movie for you to watch. This is é, about our lives. Esse filme a gente quer passar para o mundo, as pessoas se sensibilizarem da do que tá acontecendo, do que a gente passa para defender a nossa vida, defender o território para toda a humanidade. We want to sensitize the world about what what happens to us when we're defending The forests. E eu sempre é, falo nos meus comentários que a Amazônia é como se fosse um órgão que está se acabando e que o último órgão desse planeta é o nosso coração. I always say that the Amazon is like a body and the last organ is the heart and the heart is the rainforest and então, it's ending. Se esse coração parar ou se a Amazônia não existir, acabou a vida no mundo. If the heart stops, there's no life in the world. Então, através desse filme, a gente está tentando conectar as pessoas, os seres humanos, pessoas que têm poderes para assistir, sensibilizar e, e a, dar apoio aos guardiões, dar apoio às pessoas que vivem, que fazem a proteção territorial. So we're trying to connect uh, with people, with funders, with people who can actually help and support the guardians in this work to protect the territory. Yes. Great, thank you. Um, Andre, we've we've seen a really big announcement that's relevant to this work. I mean, I, during the movie, as the names of those territories that were being invaded came up, it spoke to me a lot because in the monitoring work, we've, we've drawn a lot on Trace's work in this. You know, we have seen companies like Carrefour and Casino sourcing from JBS and others that are in those indigenous territories, clearing the land, pushing the people out, and establishing cattle ranches and soy plantations. At the same time, we are seeing some progress from some of these companies from the government. Uh, since President Lula came into office, we've seen a decline of 50% in Amazon deforestation, more to do. We have seen some uptick in Sahado. I'm. We had a big announcement here in Dubai um, the other day where the governor of Pará announced with the support of the Bezos Earth Fund and others and an initiative that you're involved in, that they're going to trace all of the cattle in Pará um, by 2026. This would be a big step forward because, you know, right now the excuse for not fighting deforestation from the cattle companies is, oh, we don't know where they were at. What, how excited should we be about this new initiative? And is it something that could be spread quickly to other parts of Brazil and South America? Sure. Primeiro, primeiro, só quero dizer, muito bom estar aqui com vocês. Obrigado por estar, poder ter a oportunidade de falar com vocês. É muito bom estar aqui com vocês. É muito bom ter a oportunidade de falar com vocês hoje. Sim, e eu queria te perguntar, antes de eu entrar na sua pergunta, eu queria mencionar algo que o Edvan disse, que é sobre se conectar, certo? Se conectar as pessoas, se conectar os fundadores, se conectar tudo para nós conectar um impacto para fazer um impacto. And that's exactly what we do in Global Canopy and, and in Trace is connecting how, how this deforestation is actually connected to, to the markets, to the, the finance flows. And talking about um, beef or cattle ranching, which is a, a large, you know, um, a, a main driver of deforestation in the state of Pará, in the state of Maranhão, uh, what we looked in our data, actually in Trace data, that uh, the second uh, importing market of the, of the cattle produced in Maranhão next to the Arariboia indigenous land is actually 
come to the UAE here. So it could be in, even in our meat here, that deforestation, that, you know, human rights issues. And so it, that's about the connection. How we understand, how we bring transparency for us to connect how finance, how markets, how these companies are actually connected. So the players, the markets, do have a huge role to contribute and they have to do more and more. We are, we are not seeing enough uh, in terms of you know, their, their actions. In the case of the Para, the new announcements, it is a step forward. Uh, traceability is the first step or transparency and traceability is the first step to understand to what extent uh, this production is connected to, to, you know, to deforestation or not. Um, it, they are now thinking about individual traceability system, which will take time. It, it, is, it is a good step, but it will take time. So in the meantime, we need uh, to connect data sets like CAR, like GTA in Brazil to have traceability systems. And, you know, at a jurisdiction level, while we don't have the individual traceability level. Uh, so it is a step forward. Uh, it can be replicated, but it will take time. It will need funding. It will need, uh, it will need lots of work. Thank you. Puer, you said something beautiful in the movie. We need to reforest people's minds. Um, I, th I, I think that's true in general, but when it comes to the large meat companies that are driving deforestation, what is your message to them? How do we reforest their minds? How do we convince them of what President Lula said during his inauguration, that agriculture can grow without destroying a single acre of forest? How, how do we reforest the minds of the executives who are making these decisions? Olha, acho que a, a mensagem que eu deixaria... A, é que se eles não pensarem para a família deles, se eles não olharem para dentro de si, para dentro de casa, eles não vão conseguir olhar para quem está para fora. É preciso ter essa sensibilidade, olhar, dá para a gente evoluir, dá para pensar esse desenvolvimento que é tanto falado. Dá para desenvolver reflorestando. We can develop reforesting. E reflorestar, é reflorestar as mentes. É mudar a visão, a concepção de tanto. Porque não é justo uns ter muitos e outros ter poucos. And to reforest is to reforest the minds of people. It is not fair for some people to have so much and for most people to have nothing. Jivan, um, I'm curious what reaction to the film uh, that you've seen from Brazilian indigenous communities. How is this movie affecting their perspective? Uh, uh, então, esse, a minha participação desse, desse filme, nesse filme, My participation in this movie. É, eu venho quebrando paradigmas no sentido de que o indígena também é capaz de fazer grandes produções. I come breaking paradigms, uh, showing that indigenous are also able to do big productions. E hoje, por exemplo, eu recebo mensagens de pessoas de indígenas que estão no território que se espelham no, no trabalho que eu fiz. And today I receive messages from indigenous that are in the territory and that are mirroring in the work that I did and that are inspired by the work that I did. Então eu fico muito feliz é, de eu estar fazendo isso e 
e também fortalecendo as outras lideranças, outras pessoas, outras indígenas, que todo, eles também são capazes de fazer grandes produções de filme, de estar em grandes empresas de cinema no Brasil ou fora do Brasil. So I'm happy that I not only been doing this, but also in the process inspiring other people uh, to know that they can also do big productions, be in big film companies, participate in bigger projects. Então, é, minha participação é de quebrar o paradigma e dizer que o indígena também é capaz de, de fazer filme. O so, indígena também... Breaking paradigms, and I want to say indigenous people are also capable of doing movies, making pessoas, movies. As pessoas têm que acreditar que indígena também faz filme. Uh, people need to believe that indigenous people also make movies. Right, thank you. Andre, last question from me, and then I'm going to take two questions from the audience. Um, we hear all the time that indigenous peoples are the best protectors of the rainforest. Uh, I think we've seen a lot of evidence and it's so inspiring to see the risk that they're taking. And the, I think the fact that they're willing to put their bodies on the line, their lives on the line is actually a reason why they've been so successful in defending their territories. It, it, sometimes tragically defenders are killed, but it also is working. At the same time, one of the things that we see is that there's contempt there's racism from big companies that are involved in deforestation sometimes from government policy makers when you look globally what needs to be done to make sure that indigenous people's voices and the, and the voice of the forest more broadly is at the table when decisions are being made well i think it what needs to be done is exactly what they are doing I mean, this movie here in front of us showing to everyone uh, what are, you know, the challenges that they face, the, the threatening, the life threatening, you know, in the, in, the, in the daily lives. So bringing, you know, having them here to speak themselves, I mean, to, 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 to show the challenges, the, you know, all the, all everything that they can do to protect the forest. I think in the movie, there was that scene showing the satellite images of many indigenous lands, showing how agriculture, how deforestation is branching, you know, to all the sides. So that's just a, a beautiful picture to see how indigenous lands protect, is super well protected or keeping the, the, the forest standing while the, all the outside is actually, you know, being completely destroyed and, and deforested. Uh, so I would say just simply more movies. Uh, we need we need uh -huh. we need more of you. Uh, we need more movies, uh, really. <laughs> more movies with campaigns associated with them. So it's not just sort of giving you a sense of the problem, but actually presenting a solution that people can get involved in. Um, I'd love to take two questions from the audience. If you want to raise your hand, yes, sir. Please say who you are and yeah. <laughs> Climate intelligence students. Um, firstly, it's a really beautiful and powerful movie, and you know, thank you very much. Sorry, I'll say I'll say that it's a bit. Say that it's the microphone as well, but nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. Yes, a really beautiful and powerful movie, and thank you very much. Um, but I also, we, we've seen headlines since um, President Lula was elected that the rate of deforestation has fallen sharply. I just wondered, how does does that does it feel that way on the ground for the Guardians? Has life changed? Um, has it got any safer for the Guardians on the ground in the areas where they're working? Então, com, com a mudança do governo, né, é de fato que teve-se mudança. É, não é o presidente Lula que em quatro anos vai mudar o que vem sendo feito durante séculos nos territórios indígenas, mas... Uh, with the, the change of the government, we have seen change. It's not that President Lula will change everything that needs to be changed. Or, you know, we've been doing this work regardless and despite the president. 
Então, sempre eu falo no meu discurso que os povos indígenas sempre existiram. We've always existed. Indigenous people have always existed. Então, pelo fato do governo Lula ser, é de fato, tem nesse né, significado uma importância muito... It has a good meaning that Lula is the president. É, por ter criado o Ministério dos for, Povos Indígenas, que também foi the importante. Of indigenous people is really important. Algumas secretarias nos estados. Some secretaries for the states. Isso é... É um fato positivo. Isso né? é positivo. Tem uma, teve, claro, né, um, um avanço menos nos territórios indígenas com relação ao desma, desmatamento. It has been, uh, uh, we've seen the impact uh, of that result in the territory. Excellent. One more question. Nikki? <laughs> uh, thank you. I'm Nikki Mardas. I'm uh, a colleague of André from Global Canopy. Um, I, well, I just wanted to say, firstly, a huge thank you. This was incredibly powerful. Uh, we, your leadership is extremely inspiring. And thank you for the work you're doing for us all. And Ejivan, the same. Mm -hmm. um, I want to ask Ejivan, in making this film, I, I, you treated everyone with great compassion, I thought, in the movie, including people who are causing harm. And that was really helpful to understand the different dimensions of the problem. And so I wondered what you've learned from making this film and how you would change your campaigning now with what you've learned and what lesson can you give us to do better campaigns? Great question. Ah, mas a pergunta foi para mim, né? Cara, é uma pergunta bem complexa e que não tem uma resposta question. definitiva para isso. A def def definitive answer to that. Mas é, de fato é que o filme conta a história de, de, de uma maneira que, que, que são a realidade de cada povo. So the, the fact is that the movie tells the story of each one of the people. A realidade do povo indígena que luta para sobrevivência. Reality of indigenous people fighting for survival. E a realidade dos madeireiros que também estão ali em busca de, da sua própria sobrevivência. Mas, the reality of the loggers that are also looking for their survival. Mas é um, uma sobrevivência de uma forma errada, né? Que não tem oportunidades, não tiveram oportunidade de, de fazer. A survival outro. in a wrong way because they haven't had the opportunity to do it differently. E o Tadeu que é um grande, né? Tem um território que está é sendo invadido. Tadeu is also uh, doesn't uh, show here in this part of the movie, but he also has a massive territory that is being invaded. Mas é contar a história real de cada cada povo de cada reali realidade Which show the reality of each one of uh, the sides of the story um, I can also add that uh, the other directors sat the other day to discuss what about the loggers how can we help them because they became friends sitting with them and doing this movie and spending months with them and uh, some of the loggers have reached out to them saying that, uh, you know, we want to get out of this life. How can you help? How can we do this? So it's a question we don't have an answer to yet, but we are looking into it. If I may just yeah, I, add something, I, I was reflecting exactly like that. I think we advanced a lot in the terms of uh, the terminology and concepts of just transition when we talk about, you know, phasing down, phasing out uh, fuel, you know, uh, fossil fuel, But when it comes to deforestation, this is also an important concept for us to have, right? Uh, how can we think about these communities also? How can we include them into other systems that are keeping the, the, the forest standing rather than deforesting? Um, so just to, to, to bring this reflection as well. Yeah. Well, if I might wrap up, um, you know, I think one of the challenges is reforesting the mines, but to actually make reforestation happen, Ultimately, we have to make trees worth more alive than dead. We have to make the ecosystem and the animals that live in them worth more alive than dead. Um, and that means large scale finance. It was so great to see Brazil taking the lead on an ambitious proposal uh, for hundreds of billions of dollars of forest finance. Um, I think it also means 
changing the commercial incentives so that meat companies are channeling development onto degraded land instead of onto intact ecosystems and ultimately shifting to way more sustainable forms of protein production. And then finally, I mean, you know, I think one of the things that comes through in the movie is indigenous communities who rely on the forest do not want industrial agriculture to wipe out the ecosystems that their cultures have depended on for thousands of years. And so how do you create the resources and the training and the support for guardians like you who are defending it? I think that's that's the key challenge to really change the balance and continue to change the balance. So thank you all for coming. Please get involved and support We Are Guardians on their website. Um, you know, I hope you follow Mighty Earth as well, but really this is a great project to support. We are, we are all pulling for you here uh, as you've stepped up to take leadership of the indigenous delegation that's for the Brazilian government and to be a voice for FARS, not just for them, but frankly, for people all over the world, given Brazil's leadership role on that. So please keep it up. Um, and and thank you. We have a reception now uh, so because it's halfway through COP. We've all been working very hard. I think it's time to celebrate and enjoy. And I know that our friends at We Are Guardians have the best ability to party of any partners we've ever had. So I can't wait to ex experience it in person. Thank you all very much. Please give them a huge round of applause. Muito obrigada. Isso é E a gente segue. Vocês também são multiplicadores. Vocês também são guardiões. You are also guardians. You are also multipliers. <laughs>